This program is presented by Soul Search, the new online community where you can find yourself. SoulSearch.io. You can make a statement like, I am ready to make contact. Um, but you always want to add to any of these statements for the highest good of all involved. Now, I do believe that as we start to raise our vibration, we go from third density, which is the physical. And in order to get to the fifth density, we need to move through the fourth density or the fourth dimension. And I believe that the fourth dimension is kind of this weird liminal realm. Um, so you could think of like elementals living in the fourth dimension, but Bigfoot, Sasquatch living in the fourth dimension, um, even shamans, a lot of shamans live in that fourth dimension realm. Um, but also entities live in the fourth dimension realm and not so great beings live in the fourth dimension realm. Parasites, energetic parasites live in that realm as well. So for a lot of people, as they start to awaken and question and move beyond the third density, they start to have all of these experiences. Um, but what they don't realize is that those experiences are contained within the fourth dimension density. And a lot of them can be like, witnessing dark shadows, um, or even, uh, you know, entities or beings talking to them, and maybe giving them not so great advice. So what I always recommend is, uh, once again, making the statement for the highest good of all involved, that's going to really sharpen up your intention when you do want to make contact. And then when you do have a being or you do make contact with something to really enter into your heart space frequency and to shine unconditional love into the being um, and to ask the being to show you unconditional love. A couple of years ago, I was meditating and there was this beautiful white light angel that kind of came into my field. I could see her very, very clearly. And she had this beautiful white dress that was just kind of billowing in this non-existent wind. And she had this aura around her that was just pure white light, like anything you could imagine an angel to be. This is like, this was the ultimate angel experience. So I started to telepathically speak to this angel and I felt like something was off, like something just wasn't right with her. And, uh, and so I, I questioned her. And, um, and so, you know, at first she kind of comes back with, oh, well, I'm this angel of love and I'm here to give you all this advice. And, and it still felt off. And the only way that I could describe it was she felt hollow. Like it didn't feel like this whole feeling, it's, you know, it's kind of difficult to explain. So I questioned her again and I said, no, I don't think that you're this angel. I said, who are you really? And, and in that moment, her eyes turned black and she transformed from this billowing white light angel to this really dark, like sharp teeth entity that started coming at me and attacking me. And this was a really great experience. I'm so grateful that I had it because it allowed me to understand that entities can show up in many different forms. Um, entities can speak to you if you're clear audience and say, oh, well, I'm your spirit guide. If we do not have discernment, then we just kind of understand, okay, cool, you're my spirit guide. What do you, what do you uh, have for me to know? And they could really mislead you. So what I recommend is always bringing it back to the heart space. If you ever have any doubt about any being who enters into your field or energy, all you have to do is ask them to show you unconditional love. And just the other day, I had this Palladian man come to me and I didn't recognize him. And I didn't really feel off about him, but um, because I was teaching my wife how to do this technique of like really getting into your heart space and asking for unconditional love, I, I figured, oh, I'm gonna test this guy. So I said, I said, before we communicate, show me unconditional love. And it was the most beautiful experience. He opened up, he like, he took his hand, right? He opened up his, his literally his chest. And I just fell into this kind of like love vortex. And it was like one of those moments where you feel source in its purity and you start crying and laughing and it's beautiful. And you feel like you're being hugged and embraced. And immediately I knew that he was of light. He was of love. And, uh, and so then we continued to discuss and communicate and what have you. 
And so I really always recommend to uh, hold the intention of, I wanna make contact, I'm ready to make contact for the highest good of all involved. Um, and then also, if you ever feel like you're questioning a being, really asking them, can you show me unconditional love? If they go away, if they're unable to show you that, or they make excuses, or they're beating around the bush, you know that, okay, um, I'm not going to follow through and continue to communicate with you or discuss with you or connect with you unless you can show me that. So I'm going to kindly ask you to leave my space um, and they will leave or they'll attack. I mean, it's going to be one or the other. And just know that white light and unconditional love towards them instead of fear, uh, instead of even fighting back is always going to be the main source of, uh, of dissolving them or upgrading them into that higher frequency because unconditional love will win every single time. What's a practice to cultivate unconditional love within yourself? There's going to be a moment in time where <laughs> for lack of a better term, I could say like, it just hits, like there's just this moment where like, oh my God, you know? And it's like every essence of yourself melts. Like I was walking my dog the other day and there's like this beautiful snail on this leaf. And I just had this moment with this snail and it was this, this the most profound, unconditional love. I have this with flowers. I have it with practically anything I interact with. And it's not a word, it's an experience. And so you have to really start from within first. If you can't have that with a snail or a dog or a plant, you know, go within. And what I recommend to kind of get to that place where you just feel it, you have to check in with yourself. Hey, Elizabeth, you know, how are you doing? What, how, what can I do to support you? Like, what do you need? Um, really focusing your intention from your mind space into your heart space more often, surrendering more often, not needing to know more often, letting go more often, being in that neutral place, objectively observing more often is all really going to anchor and pivot you into uh, and really prepare you for experiencing unconditional love. So I really say that you can't experience unconditional love with anything outside of yourself until you feel it inside of yourself first. Um, so if that's the case, I don't recommend you make contact. I don't recommend you ask for that contact if you have not yet experienced the unconditional love, because unfortunately, you might um, be very easy to take to be taken advantage of in the other realms. And that can be very evident to some beings who are in those other realms that you don't necessarily have that discernment. And I've seen it many times where, you know, these people do get taken advantage. I've been taken advantage of in the other realms because I didn't know really what I was looking for, what my intentions were or how to discern. So start with the unconditional love first um, and then anchor yourself out into other realms and realities and, and astral planes. During these extraordinary times, are you seeking friends and collaborators, like-minded, brilliant, beautiful souls who want to be a part of creating the new earth? Here is the answer. Welcome to Soul Search. Soul Search is the high-frequency global online destination for spirituality and consciousness, where people from around the globe like you come together for spiritual exploration. This is a multi-dimensional community for spiritual seekers, healers, teachers, and guides for the global awakening. With Soul Search, the spiritual seeker can easily search for and connect with healing modalities, spiritual teachings, practices, and practitioners. You can explore high vibrational online and in-person spiritual events across the globe. Within the Soul Search community, you can join groups or take courses for your spiritual journey. With Soul Search, you are part of an inclusive, growing global community for consciousness. For spiritually conscious practitioners, Soul Search connects you to a global audience seeking your services. Build your credibility with a robust profile that demonstrates your expertise and experience. Post client reviews, articles, videos, photos, and audio. You can create secure and private online communities for your groups and clients. Be a part of an awakening community for spirituality where you can collaborate and connect with practitioners and seekers. Whether you are a spiritual seeker, healer, or just curious, join soulsearch.io today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to be part of our high vibrational community for the global awakening. We're excited to be connecting with your soul and radiant light.